So in today's performance, I won't go over last week's performance because that also wasn't acceptable, but just very quickly, the best players that we had last week was Craig Glancy, won the $100 good guys voucher. Out of our 30 hardball gets last week, Craig Glancy had 10 of them. So that means that he had a 30 of our hardball one-on-one balls, and, and Plucker certainly has a crack, and we know that he does. So Plucker, he come forward and win that award for South Fremantle. Michael Robinson won their $75 Cafe Villa voucher, the player that is getting better week in, week out, so well done to Robbo. Trent Martin won the $50 G Darby Restaurant Voucher and a Stony Haircut Award and Luke Stampy won the Barbershop Level Voucher Award. So those four players can come forward for last week. Okay, on to this week. I think I've touched on that enough. Uh, we um, found two players that, that typified the spirit and the competitiveness, the competitiveness that we needed and required today. Um, our Cafe Villa Award is to one of our young players, I think he played his 10th game of football today. And I guess some people might have been saying, gee, Josh Kennedy, gee, he's got a lot of the ball, he's kicked three goals, but why, why is this spot Luke Sandy still playing on Josh Kennedy? Because if you notice and look really closely, every time Josh Kennedy went to the ball, every time he had a possession, there was one player right up his backside and making him earn every kick and show the spirit and the competitiveness that was, that was required. I thought Luke Sampy's game, playing an AFL footballer, conceding height, was outstanding from a young kid that showed the spirit that we need going forward. So well done to Luke. Uh, yeah, that's very happy. I must say, um, obviously pretty disappointing today. Um, thanks for the award, and I wish I could change the win. Our best player today is—he's a—he's a fantastic guy. I did a lot of uh, media and press this week talking about his return, and, and uh, the comment that I continually said is that. Regardless of this man's football ability, and we know that it's very high, and there's one thing that stands Luke Webster above other people is his character and the quality of person that he is. And uh, it was inspirational itself to see Luke come out on the ground today and to play a game of football after 10 weeks ago, having obviously revolutionary knee reconstructive surgery. He would not have known that Luke Webster is recovering from a knee reconstruction. He would not have known the way he threw himself at the ball, the way he ran, the way he made contest after contest. His family should be extremely proud of him. I'm extremely proud of him. I hope the play group can look at this. And here is a guy playing for his future, his career, working his butt off against, the, against adversity, comes out on the ground and puts him to display like he did tonight. It's testament to his quality and his character. Luke Webster. Thanks, Glenn, uh, for the kind words. Um, well done, Sam. Uh, yeah, I thought you battled hard all day today, mate. And, uh, I uh, sort of grew a bit of confidence off you, mate, the way you were uh, taking him on. And uh, just uh, the next couple of weeks, mate, just keep building on what you did today and uh, you'll be a good player for us, mate. Um, I think Glenn has touched on it. Um, we just got to really uh, have a good week on the track and uh, get back to uh, a bit of basic football and uh, hopefully uh, we can come out against us. I think Swan's the next week and uh, really take it right up to them. So, and also thank you very much to everyone uh, coming back and uh, also the people that supported me uh, through the uh, last couple of weeks. So thank you. Look, I'll, I'll finish up now. I've, 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 I've said enough about the game. And again, I apologise to the members and supporters for, uh, for you sitting through what we, we went through today. As I said, it was unacceptable. And we'll certainly be working our backside off again to make sure performances like that aren't replicated. And, and you deserve better. And to a savage family for what you do, your limousines and Kevin Chapman McRae is outstanding. We really appreciate and thank you for sticking with us. I ask uh, Michael Swan just to come forward, please, and just aggress the gathering as well as a response from the play.
Thanks, buddy. Um, pretty tough when uh, we couldn't perform like that today, boys. So um, on behalf of the playing group, I'd like to apologise to the supporters and the members um, and all the family and friends. But uh, at the end of the day, we owe it to ourselves to be accountable and um, we owe it to each other to put in better uh, performances, efforts um, on game day because we work our asses off and we you know, put in too much time to, we're too committed to put in efforts like that. So I think we just need to have a look at ourselves, our performances, be honest, um, and come back next week and really get out there and you know, sh show, the, show our members, show the supporters, show each other ourselves most importantly how we can play and what we want to do when we go out on the track. And just one final thing, one other movie on coming back. Yeah, that was a fantastic effort, mate. I love playing with you. And that um, yeah, was really inspirational, so well done. Thanks. No, And just one thing about Luke Webster and your lovely fiance, congratulations as well. It's a happy day, happy day. Good luck Luke, you'll meet it. And uh, hope you have a very happy life together. Thanks very much. Well done, but also I reckon that uh, one of the uh, long time members of the club, uh, Little Rick, makes a cake for everything. There's a special occasion. And before you go tonight, I know you won't eat a lot of it because it won't do much for your fitness, but uh, it's full of goodies, mate, so uh, take that home and we thank Little Rick for that. Uh, next week, it's one district's ambassador, and we're back to the Oxford Hotel as normal for the usual bit. So we'll look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for your support today, and we'll see you uh, next Saturday at the Oxford. Good evening. Thank you.